guys um today i'm going to be showing you how to get more ram on your um ipod touch iphone ipad uh you have to be jailbroken to do this unfortunately so um if you want to jailbreak um you just you can just go check out my channel or someone else's it doesn't really matter it's pretty much the exact same thing there is only one downside to this and that i will use up more battery not a lot of battery but a tiny bit but um considering how much more it gives you um it is worth it i reckon so, um, I've just given my device a fresh reboot, um, you see under here, I have 71 megabytes of memory, if I go processes, and delete settings, free up memory, and it will freeze, even if it didn't freeze before, it will freeze, you see, it will say 64 megabytes, now you just wait, 157, keep waiting, And in one second, 184, and that's how much memory you get, considering how much you have once you jailbreak. I had about 120, and with all the tweaks, it dropped down to about 80. So this is why I um, did this. So the first thing you want to do is go into Cydia and download iFile. Um, you can get it for free in some uh, sources that are cracked, or you can pay the full price. Ah, uh, so, ah, uh, yeah, you're going to need to get that. So, ah, uh, I'm going to have a link in the description to download these. So, if you go into iFile, and wait for that to open, and go back to the very first thing, you will, your thing will be, um, under var mobile documents and that's where your download will be You'll, so um if you're on iOS 5.1.1 this does work for you and uh it also works for 5.0.1 and stuff so i've got the 5.1.1 one so if you just go and open it there'll be two files so the first thing you want to do is going to go copy this like so i've already got it so uh, i'll just um you know do it as I normally would and then you go all the way back to slash again and then you go um, into the system library and then you find launch daemons and this is and then you just go edit and then you go paste it in and if you scroll all the way down to A and D and just a bit further down here we go right there that's where I have it so I do have it in there, um, and there's going to be a lot of text in it, just like this. Uh, you know, so it's all going to be a bit gibberish. So then once you've done that, you're going to go back to the first thing again, and go back to var mobile documents, and then you're going to want to go and copy this as well. And then once you've done that, go back to the beginning again, and then you're going to want to open um, system, no sorry, um, private, var, and then enter preferences, and then paste that in there, and then you have this here, also a lot of gibberish in it, um, well not much in this one, so then once you've done that, you want to go back to slash, and uh, reboot somehow you can use SB settings. Uh, I recommend SB settings for this because you will need to use it for freeing up memory unfortunately so um, you must also get SB settings. Uh, sorry about that I didn't mention it at the beginning. So then you're going to go power and reboot. So uh, once you've rebooted it you go um, back onto preferences then you can close anything you've got and then go free off memory.
and it'll go back to the 180 in a sec. This is just normal. And you wait. And 182. And that's how much RAM you'll have for an iPod Touch. For iPhones, you can get over 500, which is a ton. And iPads, I don't even know how much you could get on them, but it would be a lot. So that's pretty amazing what you can do to it. But that's pretty much it. And uh, yes, if you do go into slash var and go down to, you will notice, you know, down here, there's a folder called VM, that's virtual memory, and there'll be something called swap file. If there's swap file in it, that means it's worked. And uh, there are two versions of this. I, rec I for iPod Touch users, I recommend uh, using the 200 one, and for iPhone users, I recommend using the 512 megabyte one. They are both available in the link I'll be giving. There's a link for it inside that link. So, or I might just put it in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe.